This presentation is an introduction to making XY graphs. It's about XY graphs and how to use them. Graphs represent mathematical relationships between quantities. A graph should include data points and some function which the data points are expected to follow. The function could be a straight line. Straight line graphs are especially useful. Data tables should be well laid out, easy to understand, and complete. The table needs a number and a name, and columns for the variables with their uncertainties and their units. Any graph in a report should include a table with the plotting data. If this is different from the raw data, then another table may be needed. The title on a graph should make sense if the graph is presented by itself. Axis labels should be treated the same way. Remember that axes need units. The data in a graph should take up most of the available space. Plotted points need to include error bars or a note explaining that the error bars are too small to show off if that's the case. Sometimes a graph is expected to go through the origin. The origin is only a data point if it has been measured. It should not be assumed. A graph should only have a y-intercept of zero if the line of best fit actually has a y-intercept of zero. Don't force it just because you expect it. For instance, if you have data that fit a line, draw that line, not the one that goes where you think it should have gone. The slope and y-intercept both have units. The y-intercept has the units of the y variable, and the slope has the units of y divided by the units of x. The point of a graph is to see how well the data fit the expected function. It's not to make up any function which fits the data. Don't be tempted by this, especially if you use a spreadsheet that suggests it. Don't be tempted to use straight line segments between data points. The lines between the dots are meaningless. The expected function is the only line to draw. This is true whether you're using a computer or plotting by hand. There are a few key points to remember.